Good afternoon. Today is February 12th, 2021. My name is Ms. Gail Michaels, and I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. I am writing a movie. It is titled Congratulations, and I've been writing on it for quite a long time. The idea for this movie came about in 2009 when I had the opportunity to copyright a book called Come Laugh With Me. And in that book, I was writing about a young man who was getting ready to become the president of the United States of America. And I was very excited about him. A gorgeous black man becoming the president of the United States. And that is a beautiful subject. So I decide to write. I get my little pencil and paper out and I'm living in South Carolina and I decide to start writing. When I had finished the book, Come Laugh With Me, I copyrighted it. And then the phone rang. The caller on the phone is an attorney and he's telling me that the president of the United States has heard the name Gail Michaels and that he was a student, he was a college student in California when he heard that name. He knew that young woman to be a writer. And was that me? And I told the attorney, yes, I lived in California. He told him, the, the president told the attorney that he had read my material. And then I start scratching my head. I must think back, who could that be? But of course, a single woman in California, I had some good time. So I decided to say, well, this is my opportunity. This is my opportunity. But like Pastor Jake says, next to my opportunity, there are my obstacles. My obstacle says that you are not successful, that you are not pretty, and you need to be very careful how you walk in this story because it is a story that belongs to me, but it is a story about the most powerful man in the world, in the USA, and that is Barack Obama. Well, I don't know, so what can he say? I'm writing. I have my pencil and paper out. I do remember people seeing my work, but I'm not really concerned about who saw my work. But I do remember a young man. A young man, I don't remember what he said his name was. He was cute, and I know there was no reason for me to have his attention. But I smelled good, and I spoke very nice. I'm not a smoker or a drinker, and whatever I did, I couldn't pretend I didn't do it saying that I was drunk and under the influence of all of my mistakes. I was sober, and the young man met me. That was fate. It was the wind of fate bringing something wonderful by me. And like any other woman, although I'm older and he's younger, I want this opportunity. I know it's surrounded by obstacles, beautiful girls, beautiful women, all this money. We're talking about Los Angeles, Hollywood, California. Hey, there is no reason for me to get anybody's attention, but I did. Someone stopped to hear what I had to say. And that young man stopped long enough to see my name on every page of paper, and all the papers said Gail Michaels. So he couldn't miss it. But I didn't say Abigail Adams because the name is historic. Now here's Abigail Adams, black woman, trying to be a writer. If I say the name Abigail Adams, here she comes. John Adams, second president of the United States. Abigail Adams is his wife. Their son, John Quincy, was the president of the United States. So by the time I explained to everyone that I'm not her, some people don't know she was not black because they don't even know the history. But I know history because every time we would celebrate History Month, I had to be up here Adams. Your husband's the president of the United States. Your son is the president of the United States. You're Abigail Adams. Even when I was up on Capitol Hill in 2013, the first thing they said when they heard my name, you've been here before but you weren't black. 
I said, right. But anyway, back to the movie. Congratulations. I decide that because I love to talk, I will limit my words. If I am ever meet, if I am ever able to meet this great man, this president of the United States, I will say congratulations. I don't think I need to say anything else. But in my movie, I will say many things. I will make my movie mysterious. I will make it sexy. And most of all, I am real. I am excited that someone so powerful in such a great position would even remember my name. I thank God for that because now I write. This one I have a poem on. It is called Our Sons Were Presidents of the United States. This is because in 1961 when Barack Obama was born, the world, the USA was segregated. So can you imagine? So in his lifetime, he has seen many things that he has not told us. But as I write, I will imagine the words of a great woman saying, our sons are presidents of the United States of America. So I write things that I am blessed with. I love the Bible because I know now the book of wisdom is there. And when I need instructions, I know where to turn. I know there's a time for love. There's a time for hate. Ecclesiastics tells us this. I love the past. It is the past that I'm reaching into now to get this wonderful story. There's nothing great about me. I'm not successful. I'm not a published woman, but I am a writer. And I can say that in 2009, the president of the United States said he knew Gail Michaels was a writer, that he had read her work in California. I hope that he even said he had met me. But no matter what he said, I am writing the story that I tell. As a writer, I must tell you that I will stretch some of the truth. But because I'm the writer, I will also tell the truth. My name is Miss Gail Michaels. I'm an ASCAP member, Miss Gail Adams. And I want all of you to pray for my journey. I like to tell people that the past is the runway to the future. And I am very glad that I came across this runway. Thank you.